Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into Video Entertainment Studios for this episode of Video Movie Reviews. I am the Nerd Lust Daddy, and today we continue our series reviewing every North American live action video game film adaptation theatrical release. In today's episode, we dive back into the world of stealth and assassination as we review 2015's Hitman Agent 47. Oh, this could be pretty good. The first one was fun. Chop hits. Let's jump into this one and see if it's on target. Now, Hitman Agent 47 was released in North American theaters on August 21st, 2015. At this time, seven games had been released in the series in combinations of mainline and spin-off releases. We're going to stick with the mainline releases for comparison, and those are Hitman, codename 47, Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, Hitman Contracts, Hitman Blood Money, and Hitman Absolution. We'll be using these all for a general comparison as the film isn't directly or even loosely based on any of them and is instead its own original plot. Now as mentioned in our previous review of the film Hitman, the game series plot involves a man known as Agent 47. He's one of many genetically engineered humans bred and trained to be highly skilled and deadly assassins for the global organization known as the International Contract Agency. He's known to be the best of them all and frequently works with his handler, Diana, who informs him of his new contracts as well as briefing and debriefing him. During his many adventures, 47 begins unraveling the secrets of his past as well as dealing with a rival assassination agency known as the Franchise. Now, The plot of the film involves 47 working for an agency known as the Syndicate. Here he also works with a handler known as Diana. And the film opens by telling us the story of Dr. Peter Letvenko, the scientist who created the Agent Project, and how due to him no longer being able to bear the guilt of his creation, he abandons the project and goes into hiding to avoid being forced to start the project again or reveal his methods. Since then, the Syndicate has been searching the globe trying to find Dr. Litvenko in order to force him to tell them his method for creating agents so that they can start the project again. While searching for him, they've been conducting experiments, trying to replicate the doctor's process with varying results. They eventually locate a woman named Katya, who seems to be linked to Dr. Litvinko. They send a man named John Smith to try and find and bring her in, while Agent 47 is sent by Diana to assassinate Leclerc, the chairman of the syndicate, and Katya, leading to an adventure involving trying to unravel the true intentions of the syndicate, John Smith, and Agent 47, along with the origins of Katya. Alright, while not directly adapted from any specific plot from one of the games in the series, I found the film's plot fairly interesting. Uh, the motivations behind Agent 47 and John Smith's actions were very interesting to watch unravel, and seeing the origins and nature of Katya unravel was interesting and exciting as well. This plot fits in well within the Hitman universe, and I can give it a hawoo. Pids, what did you think of the plot? Hawoo! So what about the setting and world representation? We have a change in regards to the name of the agency that 47 works for, but still keep the name of the handler the same. The background for the creation of 47 and the Agent Project is a bit different as they change the name of the scientist that created them, but its execution is still basically the same. Speaking of 47, his look is spot on, so there's no argument there. And not only do we get plenty of gunplay in many forms, but we also get hand-to-hand -hand combat and even representations of 47 donning disguises to infiltrate or escape areas like in the games. The universe is represented very well here, so I can give this a hawoo. Pids, what did you think of the setting and world representation? Hawoo! Alright, let's keep it simple with the characters and focus on the main ones from the games that are represented here, as well as those that are front and center to the plot. Let's start with Diana, played by Hong Kong actress, model, and singer Angela Baby. Here she takes on the role of Agent 47's handler. There isn't much screen time with her, but what we do get is passable and well acted. It's just that there isn't much to work with for her, allowing her to spread her wings and excel in the role at all. Regardless, the performance is passable, so she gets a passing hawoo. Pids, what did you think of Diana? Hawoo! Dr. Litvenko, portrayed by Sirian Hines, known for his roles in Road to Perdition, There Will Be Blood, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Here, he's the creator of the Agent Program, who has been on the run for years, out of guilt for what he created, and to try and prevent his research from continuing to be used. 
While he doesn't show up until about the last fourth of the movie, he gets plenty of screen presence during it. The portrayal exudes one of a man racked with guilt over his past choices as well as a man who did what he had to do out of love. It's a good performance and one that I can give a hawoo. Pids, what did you think of the Doctor? Hawoo! Katya, played by Hannah Ware, mostly known for her television roles in the show's Boss and Betrayal. Here, she plays the mysterious woman who is obsessively searching for a man she doesn't know, nor knows why she's driven to do so, while also getting involved in a triangle of action and suspense with both John Smith and Agent 47. I quite enjoyed this character as she comes off as very pained over her relentless drive as well as the unexplained abilities that confuse and scare her. Later on, when she has a large portion of character growth, she becomes incredibly exciting and engaging to watch. She gets a haboo from me. Pids, what did you think of Katia? Hawoo! John Smith, portrayed by Zachary Quinto, most notable for his roles in the television series Heroes and the movies Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond. In this role, he portrays the man sent by the Syndicate to find Katia and, as he claims to her, protect her from Agent 47. His portrayal was very good as a formidable opponent for Agent 47 to face, as well as displaying a knack for action and fighting scenes between himself and 47. I found him to be an exciting addition to the Hitman universe, and a welcome part of this film. He gets a hawoo from me. Pids, what did you think of him? Hawoo! Agent 47, played by Rupert Friend, known for his roles in the films The Boy in the Striped Pajamas and Startup, as well as his portrayal as the Grand Inquisitor in the Disney Plus series Obi-Wan. Here he takes on the role of the iconic character and deadly assassin Agent 47. The portrayal is good as he comes off as cold, calculating, and set on completing his contract at any cost. While, in my opinion, not as good of a portrayal as the one put on by Timothy Oliphant in the 2007 Hitman film, it's still very good in its own right. I can give him a hawoo. Pids, what did you think of Agent 47? Hawoo! Alright, time for our final verdicts. While the plot isn't a direct adaptation of any of those from the games, it's a good one that fits within the universe. The setting and world representation are fairly spot on, and the characters pretty much all are acted well, engaging, and believable. Let's turn to the Pids first and see what he thinks. Pids, what did you think of Hitman Agent 47? Hawoo! I agree, Pids. This film was pretty entertaining throughout. The action sequences are exciting, and the overall representation of the Hitman universe seems good. I can give this one a 70s out of 10s. It is in no way an excellent or perfect action movie, but overall, it is above average, entertaining, and a good representation of the Hitman universe in general. I can easily recommend this film to fans of the game series as well as to fans of action thriller type films. I don't think that either will be disappointed in viewing this. The Pids and I want to thank you all for once again tuning into Video Entertainment Studios for this episode of Video Movie Reviews. If you enjoyed our video, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share to show your support. And don't forget to check us out on Twitch as well as follow us on Twitter. Until next time. I'm the Nerd Lust Daddy, reminding you all to not be chip flutters to each other. Body autonomy for all, reproductive rights for women, and peace, love, and happiness to all. Take us out, Pids. Thank yous all again for watchings. We'll see you next week. <laughs>